welcome. My name is Gail Moffat and uh, we are going to have a wonderful show today because um, because we are. Because we are. <laughs> um, anyway, I am looking forward to doing some readings for a couple of callers today. And um, so hopefully we'll, we'll be doing that in about five minutes time. But before we go to that, I was thinking about all those people that are all those people that are looking to sort of develop their mediumship or wondering if they possibly have an ability. And what I'm going to describe today is something where I think most people will think on some level, aha, I think I get that. I, you know, this happens to me too. And what it is, is called clairsentience. And it comes from the French word, which is clair, which means clear. So, and sentience is, is, is feeling or sensing. So it's clear sensing. And what it is, is, is I wonder how many of you have sort of gone into a house and thought, oh, this feels like a happy house, or this has got a nice energy here, or, or if they go, um, and meet somebody and they may think oh I think you know that person you know I'm not sure that person is very nice or or that person is really nice I really like them and that's all about your clairsentience and this is a, a sense that we all have and when you're doing mediumship or psychic work it's the first faculty that you're going to be using because you're sensing the situation sort of straight away and, and using that, that sort of faculty to, to be able to um, sense what's going on uh, around you. And so you might sort of have a feeling about something and, and that feeling is, is literally your clairsentience. And so it's, it's like a wonderful faculty. Now, a lot of people who are psychics or mediums will also have get an image in their mind and that is called clairvoyance and clairvoyance is again it comes from the French word clear which is um, clear seeing and so you will be able to see um, you know things and it generally goes on in your mind what, what we call our third eye um, which is just situated um, just between your two eyes and above above your two eyes in, in the middle of your forehead and and so often when I put my focus to that area of my mind I will actually see things and and they will come come to me and so so you know that's clairvoyance and and it's a bit like if you sort of like visualize your um you know, a room that you're not in at the moment or your car that's parked outside or or the school that you went to, you'll see an image that's in your mind because as you visualise it. And that's exactly how we see um, as mediums. We see that, um, um, you know, see the clair clairvoyance, which is, you know, I think is is sort of really quite exciting. And so because you can visualize, it means that you are a, that faculty is open. And so it means that you have the capability to actually um, see as well. Now, the third faculty, which I think is probably one of the hardest for a lot of mediums, and that's the um, cla clairaudience. And clairaudience is, is, a, is a faculty that is where you, it's clear, again, is clear from the French word, and audience is hearing, so it's cl clear hearing. And, and so that will be where you will actually hear words in your mind. And they can often come just like a thought. So as you hear a thought in your mind, that would be how you would hear the, the clear audience. It's, it's exactly the same way. And so, it, you know, that's sort of interesting um, how all those three faculties, in one way or another, we all get ourselves. They happen to us. 
And so I just sort of wonder how, um, you know, how many of us have sort of seen something or heard something or, 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 or felt something. I think the clairsentience is probably one of the most um, common um, um, aspects of our, of, of our psychic ability. And I think it's within everyone, we, we will sense things. I think also animals sense things. You can see like there may be a deer in the background, in, the, in you know, right over on the hills and they just might put their head up and turn and look because they sense there's somebody around. Um, and, and they're quite sort of skittish as animals and they'll, they'll run off. And, you know, so it, it's, you know, the animals are very, very clairsentient. I think actually they're very psychic as well. So anyway, um, I wonder sort of how how much of those faculties you have in your life. I think we'll go to some callers now, and I believe we have Laura in Portsmouth. Are you there, Laura? Hello, I'm here. Hello, and how are you today? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> right, I'm so... <laughs> Being miserable out here. So... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's miserable times, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> um, how? Um, so you're probably about uh, an hour and a half from, from from where I am at the moment. And so, um, I'm a medium. Now, what that means is that I'm able to sense um, things from sense spirit from 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 the spirit world. And, and connect to loved ones, or I can actually um, look for guidance with you. Is there a particular way that you would like me to work? And if so, where would you like me to focus? Um, more kind of family and romantic relationships and guidance, anything you can give me. <laughs> okay, um, right, <laughs> let's have a look. I'm very drawn to your family, um, you know, first off. Um, and um, it's, it's, I feel, feel sort of drawn in that direction, sort of first of all. Um, um, would, I, would I be right in saying that, um, that there's, there's emotional stuff that happens within the family? Um, and is happening at the moment. Does that make sense to you? Um, yeah, there's been a lot of risks. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a lot of sort of things going on that that is is a bit unpleasant at times. Um, and I and I want to go that there's there's one person in particular that seems to sort of cause a lot of the problems. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And I feel that this person is female. Would that make sense to you yeah. as well? <laughs> yes. Uh, and and is this is this your sister? Um. Oh, it's it's sort of between my sister and my mother. Uh, well, do you know? I was going to go. It's either your sister or your mother. But I, I, um. But yes, I I I felt like. But I feel like they um. They, they sort of almost like cause problems where they're sort of bringing people into their, into their drama and triangling people. And, and yeah. I feel like there's a lot of criticism and judgment as well. And it's all going yeah. round in a big, big sort of pot, a big sort of, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's just being, it's, it's, um, and I feel like, um, it's you know it's really um, hurt you on on quite a deep level because I feel like this is something that's not just happened in you know sort of you know in the last couple of weeks I feel like this has been something that's on and off for for probably most of your life does that make sense to you yeah definitely and yeah and and I and I know that um 
that this is really sort of um I, I feel like it's really hurt you it's um and and sometimes things hurt us and we don't even realize there's that hurt but i can feel that hurt within you and and i feel that um sometimes it really makes you feel really upset and and you and you have the need to distance yourself from from members of your family just to get a clear head and to be able to yeah. find your sanity and and be able to um sort of move move forward and i feel like they oh, um, they they've been very sort of sabotaging as well of any relationships that you've had because they've been um uh critis critis very critical um in one way or another does that make sense to you yeah um, yeah <laughs> they can they can be quite a bit yeah they're, they're, um but i feel like they're very sort of judgmental critical and um and i feel like there's a real sensitive soul with the, with you your your you're, you're, you, it, I feel that like you're a sensitive, um, and it's interesting that I was talking about clairsentience earlier on, because I yeah. actually feel, I actually feel that you've got a capability of clairsentience yourself, um, and, and yeah. maybe <laughs> some of the other faculties as well. I feel like there's a psychic mediumship sort of ability with you, and I feel actually you're, you've got the potential to be really good. And I feel like you've been developing this over some time. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, I did, but I stopped for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, but you have got um, quite a strong um, sort of strong uh, capability to do this. Um, and I feel also I'm being drawn to a guide that is round you. Um, are you aware of your guides? No. Right. I, I feel like there's a there's a male guide with you. Now, when I teach, okay. I always I always say, um, and I always say, I don't think it's a good idea for me to point out guides because then it's where you put your focus, and you can be ignoring what what you're really sort of receiving because sometimes our guides change and things like that. But I am. But I am being made aware of a, of a male guide around you, um, and I feel like this this guide um, is is quite a nurturing person because I feel like they really want to pick you up and and protect you and sort of wrap you a little bit in cotton wool because I feel that 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 there is because of this the family dramas and the and the and the difficulties that you're having. With, with relationships as a result of, of, I feel like some of the damage that your mother and sister has done, that has, it's, it's caused you to feel um, a sort of a sense at times of, of despair, because it's like you're just looking to sort of scramble out of your family dynamics and get a life of your own. Um, and I know that this is really important to you to find, um, you know, true happiness elsewhere. And I feel also that if you had your own way, you would be really open to sort of almost moving away because I feel that. It, 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 <laughs> I, I feel move that away. <laughs> you did. Okay. Um, yeah, we did very recently. All oh, right. Okay. So. I, it's not the future it's already happened but I, I just get this feeling that it this is this is really important because it's really protective for you it's really important yeah. that you become grounded and become your own person and become independent from your family because your family yeah. has done nothing but drag you down and and hurt you emotionally and be um destructive to to your your happiness and and i feel that this decision to move away has probably been one of the best things that you could have done um because i feel that that um in time you're just going to grow more in strength and and be more secure in yourself 
And I feel like you're, you've got some friendships around you. There's a friend around you um, that um, is, is quite supportive to you. And, and I feel that this person um, is, is really sort of quite kind. And I feel that this is going to be um, almost like the beginnings of, of a great friendship. Um, that is going to really sort of lift you and bring you out of yourself and bring you into a more positive way of being and a more um, um, happier person. And I feel that that is when you're going to really find yourself and find true happiness and true love. But it's about this time is about Laura's healing, Laura becoming Laura and not part of the family, Laura becoming strong. Yeah. I hope that all makes sense to you. <laughs> um, yeah. that, good, good. Well, um, I really thank you for, for ringing in and meeting you. If you want to find me, I am on Facebook. My name is Gail Moffat. Um, but uh, I wish you the best of luck um, because I know only too well what families can do <laughs> so, oh, but, but thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you for ringing in um thank you right so i believe brandon in battle creek michigan is there are you there um we're just waiting for brandon to to come forward um because i think that the call dipped before before he was about to come through um so i just want to say how um um I was talking earlier on about the faculties of mediumship and the faculties of being able to hear and see and sense and how important these, these faculties are in our life. And I think that if we take the step to, to develop it and, and sit in the quiet and sit in the power of, of, of spirit, then um, it can be sort of like a marvellous gift to ourselves, because what it does is it helps with our own healing and, and brings about healing to the heart and, and heals that, that, that wounded heart. It's a really positive thing to do um, in, in our lives. Also, I, I think that um, when, when we are developing our, our mediumship, it's important that we choose our teacher wisely because it, it's always important to have a teacher that is competent at understanding how to nurture you into that, into that space and, be, and develop those skills. Because once you've developed those skills, it is really important that you do this on a, on a professional level and, and on a level that that it, it sort of really secures um, your, you know, your capability and and enables you to be very sort of accurate and and in in your development as as a medium. One of the things that I did when I first started my my mediumship is I actually got uh, a pack of cards and they uh, tarot cards. And I used to play with them and just dish them out, you know, one after another and, and look at the meanings and, and, and then sort of try and sense the meanings of the cards and sense what I feel. And that, I feel, is, is back to the clairsentience. It's a really good method to, to you know, in developing your mediumship and, and getting that, that honing that, starting that, that, that skill. And that all comes, again, from from your clairsentience. But anyway, I feel we have lost Brandon. Never mind Brandon, next time, I hope. But Terry in Alberta, are you there, Terry? I am. Hello and welcome to the show. Um, it's very nice to have you here. Um, so I am a medium and I am able to connect to loved ones or I can um, look to focus on, on your life and give you guidance. Is there a particular way that you would like me to work? Um, just whatever you feel called to, I'm sure it's going to be my best advantage. Right, okay. Right, 
let's see. Um, have you had um, a cat, or have you got a cat, or a cat that has recent that has passed that was very close to you? An attack. A cat. Oh, a cat. Yes. Yeah. And and did you have a cat that has passed to spirit? There's four. It, you've had four that that's passed to spirit. Yeah. Is that is that what you just okay? Because I'm just seeing a cat that is coming forward, and it's that uh, this cat is um uh, is particularly keen to come forward, and I feel like he's coming forward with a lady um. And I feel that this is your grandmother. Um, um, and I feel this is a grandmother on your father's side of the family. And I feel like there was um, there's something about the connection with this grandmother that I'm not sure that you knew her um, so well. Does that make sense to you? If it was a great grandmother, then they passed before him. But all my grandparents, I knew very well. Okay, so um, right. Well, I feel like I'm going on your on your. I'm definitely going on your father's side, and there's there's a lady, and maybe it's the grandmother that you knew well, um, and I got and I misinterpreted um, knowing well to not knowing well, um, but I I just I just feel that I have a lady, um, and she's coming forward with with this cat, and she's she's saying to me that um, when she was. Um, this lady that I have, when she was alive, I feel like she had quite a few sort of health problems, and I feel particularly with 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 her legs. And I feel and I feel like the bottom part of my legs are quite sort of um, sore and and needing sort of support. Does that make sense to you? She lost her legs to diabetes. <laughs> oh right, okay. That's that's why I'm. And I feel like it's it's the bottom part of the legs. Does that make sense to you? From the knees down. Yes, that's exactly from the knees down. That's exactly where I was feeling it from. Um, it's not funny. I, I I never I didn't see that she'd lost the legs, but I felt that it was there was a problem from the knees down. And I and I, but she's come forward and she's coming forward with with one of your cats. Um, and I feel also, and, and I feel like she's saying to oh, this is what she's saying to me. She's saying that it's really important that she comes forward today because she knows how much you need a grandmotherly love at this time. Because she says that you have been crying out to spirit or God or, or relatives um, for support and help in your life. Because I feel like there has been, um, um, I, I almost feel like that, that there is, um, there's, there's, a, there's an absence, there's an absence of, of love at the moment around you. Um, does that make sense to you? Oh, yes. And, and I feel like, and, and she's just coming with this blanket. And she's just literally placing it around your shoulders. And I feel like she wants to kiss you on the cheek and let you know that she's here for you. And she's bringing all of your animals. Because I feel like in the family, there's quite a few animals that have passed. And I feel like she's bringing them all. And, and, and I feel like there's, there's, um, I feel like there's a, a, an animal that's at your feet. Um, I feel like this could be a, a small dog. Um, is there a small dog in 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 spirit? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because um, um, and she's she's just bringing all this nurturing um, energy around you, and she's telling me that um, that God has specifically asked her to bring love to you and bring um, help to you and make you feel more uplifted. And I'm told that it was really important that you had this connection today because it's, it's at a day when you're feeling particularly at a low ebb because I feel like there is an anniversary around about now of someone's passing that, that has really troubled you in your mind. 
Was that would that make sense to you? Uh, yes. And and I just want you to know that um, I feel like there's there's many other people gathering around now, and they're all coming forward because I feel like there's a lot of people in spirit, and a lot lot. It's, it's almost like there's more there than here, and they're all wanting to bring you that support and that love and 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 that comfort. And they just come with all the all the animals as well. And, and I feel like is there is there any connection to tartan? Because I'm seeing like a, a tartan rug, but I felt drawn to Scotland as well. Is there any link to Scotland in your family? Not that I know of, but I've always been very drawn to it. Have you? I um, wondered if it was a past life. Do you know, so before you even said that, Terry, I thought that because um, I feel like I feel like there's a there's a real strong link to Scotland with you, and because I'm seeing the heather as well on the on the on the coast, and I'm going all tingly as you go up towards Inverness, and and I'm seeing the I'm seeing the bridge of um, uh, Inverness, and I feel and I feel like really drawn up to the real highlands in Scotland, um, the top part of Scotland. We only have 60 seconds um, left of the show, um, but what I want to say to you, what's really important is your loved ones are around you and, they're, and they've come to make you feel happier and supported and loved um, because there is a lot of love around you it's just that a lot of them are in, in spirit. And I also want to say that um, you're, there's, I feel like there's a, there's a sadness in some respect about where you live as well. And I, I don't, under, don't quite understand this, but I just know that there is some sort of sadness a, around where you live. But I feel that this is going to be... Um, this is not going to be a permanent feature and it's going to be resolved soon.